This is almost a science fiction kind of novel that we are living in now. He's gonna do what he wants or what his delusional thinking tells him to do. Because he is cognitively deteriorating. He's showing signs of dementia. If you look at interviews that he gave in the 1980s and 1990s, he was very articulate. He actually had a very sophisticated vocabulary. He spoke in actually polished paragraphs. Well, I like the inner cities. I see the inner cities as being sort of a wave of the future now. I think with the, with the problems of fuel and the gasoline shortages and everything else and the transportation, especially in the major cities such as New York and Los Angeles and Chicago. Then you look at how he speaks now. His vocabulary is impoverished. He uses a lot of superlatives and filler words that we see in people who are reaching for language. He's a bad, bad... He's a bad, bad guy. Quite often he shows what we call tangential thinking, which is that he goes from one idea and then just sort of drifts in mid-sentence to another idea. Uh, we know from Michael Wolff's book that he would meet people at Mar-a-Lago who he'd known for decades and would not recognize them. I'm not sure, I'm not sure that I've ever even heard of a Category 5. I knew it existed and I've seen some Category 4s. You don't even see them that much, but a Category 5 is something that uh, I don't know that I've ever even heard the term. I've just come from a stop at Tyndall Air Force Base where I saw the devastating effects of that Category 5. He'd never heard of it then, and he said he never heard of a Category 5 about 10 different times when Maria hit Puerto Rico. This is the fourth Category 5 since he's been president. That's not a small uh, blip. Why is this important? Well, it's important for a number of reasons. Number one, of course, cognitively, we have someone who's really not functioning cognitively, who has the capacity to launch the nuclear codes. The other thing, though, about his developing dementia is that when people develop dementia, everything about their personality becomes 10 times worse. So in his case, he has a malignantly narcissistic personality disorder. He's gonna become more paranoid. He's gonna become more aggressive. He's gonna become more impulsive. His judgment is gonna get worse. His uh, impulse control is gonna get worse. And so if you think he's bad now, wait till you see how bad he's going to become.